It gives, uh, gives us a great pleasure to be able to give you an overview on this exciting mission, and I'm very happy to welcome here on stage a dear friend of the IEF, uh, Dr. Li Ming, Vice President of the China Academy of Space Technology, and he will report on this exciting mission. Dr. Li Ming, please. Thank you, Christian, for your introductions. Uh, distinguished audience, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's my great honor uh, to be here to give this presentation uh, on the topics of the mission of Chandler 4, Lunar Probe. Uh, in IAF, I was a member of uh, IPC a student group, and also the member of uh, HAC committee and a member of uh, Space uh, Power uh, Technical Committees. Uh, in cast, uh, served as uh, Vice President of China Academy of Space Technology, uh, in charge of uh, R&D works, education, and also international academic uh, exchange. In today's uh, presentations, I will talk about the uh, uh, significance of the lunar five site explorations the general design of Chang'e 4, the flight result, and also some information about the follow-on missions after the Chang'e 4. The lunar five site is, if of, uh, is of a great uh, significance on the geological evolution uh, study and the low frequency uh, cosmic radio surveys. It has a unique advantage than the lunar near site explorations. The Chang'e 4 lunar probe has landed uh, softly on the far side of the moon uh, in this January for the first time and uh, implemented in situ and uh, rowing operations. And the data is sent back to Earth uh, by a relay satellite. According to the roadmap of Chinese uh, uh, lunar operations, we have already finished the Chang'e 1 and the Chang'e 2 uh, for the orbiting missions, and Chang'e 3 uh, for the first uh, uh, landing missions on the near side. And Chang'e 4 uh, is a backup, actually, uh, for the Chang'e 3, uh, but we chose to go to the far side of the lunar uh, to, to achieve uh, some new uh, science uh, result. And Chang'e 5, uh, which is the sample return missions, uh, will be launched uh, before the end of this year. On the lunar far side, uh, numerous highland terrains are distributed all over, and the craters and the mountains are widely spread. The view now, South Pole Aiken Basin, uh, in abbreviation we call SPA, is located in the southern part of the far side. This is the largest and oldest impact basin in the solar system. So it is uh, of a great value uh, for science research. Soft landing on the SPA as well as the uh, roving operations of it are of uh, great uh, scientific significance. First, this is uh, good for planetary formation and uh, evolutions research including the benefit, the discovery of material compositions of lunar crust and mantle, and including the revolve the process of lunar thermal evolution and the different tensions in early times. Also study on the formation evolution, uh, topography and chemical characteristics of craters in SPA, which are different than other terrain. The second, the five site is an ideal observation site uh, for the low frequency radio astronomy observations. Astronomical observation of radio waves uh, is one of the most effective way uh, to study the universe. But now, a mirametric wave has been detected effectively yet. Mirametric wave detection is of much uh, importance for sky scanner, the scanner of uh, discrete radio source, the solar physics, the space weather, 
extremely high energy cosmic ray and the neutrino studies. But there's also some engineering challenges for the five side operations. First is the safety insurance of landing on the complex land landform areas. On the near side, the flight marines are widely spread. Chang'e uh, 3 lunar probe uh, lands on the flat sinuous iridiums. But five side is more wrecked and bring more challenging on navigation, landing stability, and safety, as well as operation performance on lunar surface after landing. So this is a comparison uh, for the Chang'e 3 missions and the Chang'e 4 missions. Another challenge is the relay communications. We know that the fire site cannot uh, directly communicate with the ground, TT and C stations. So the relay uh, communication uh, why relay satellite uh, is a must. The relay satellite trajectory design and TTC link design and also the relay mode selections has a strong impact on the mission design. The last one is the uh, survival uh, during the lunar night. Uh, we have designed a lunar soil temperature measurement uh, pillows, which we, we work on uh, during the lunar night. To further understand the lunar soil uh, features and to obtain a first-hand engineering data, uh, Chang'e 4 uh, measures the soil temperatures at the Mount Night. So during the Mount Night, lasting about uh, uh, 14 Earth days, uh, surface temperature will fall to about uh, uh, minus uh, 190 degrees. So we must resolve the problem of how to guarantee the power supply and temperatures of measurement equipment. As to the system configurations, uh, the Chang'e 4 lunar prober is comprised of a uh, uh, lunar uh, rover and also the relay uh, satellite. The lander and the rover are developed uh, from the material technologies of Chang'e 3. Uh, actually, the Chang'e 4 is uh, originally a backup uh, for the Chang'e 3 missions. And uh, adaptively modified according to the five side uh, terrain and the relay communication conditions, as well as the uh, operation at moon night. The relay satellite is based on the small satellite technology uh, developed in CAST. In order to have a safety uh, working conditions, the relay satellite launched uh, six months uh, before the uh, lander and the rover are launching. For the selection of the landing areas, uh, we have uh, two steps. Uh, first step is the preliminary selections to determine the range of uh, optional uh, landing areas uh, within the SPA according to the scientific requirements and engineering achie uh, achievabilities. Second step is the uh, optimal selections. This is to design the specific landing area, consider the multiple factors, uh, such as the uh, lunar terrain, orbit of relay satellite, uh, land orbit, determination accuracy, and a control error of power descending uh, process. Finally, the main landing arrays has been chosen uh, as a uh, from common creatures. Uh, this is the uh, first uh, uh, landing areas. The alternative landing areas uh, is uh, uh, creating creatures uh, which are uh, much more flatter uh, compared with uh, uh, from common uh, creatures. The range size uh, for landing is about uh, uh, 50 uh, multiplied uh, 30 uh, kilometers. Uh, this is a uh, collaboration about uh, the power descending mode uh, about uh, Chang'e 3 and Chang'e 4. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, for the Chang'e 4, uh, the landing uh, power uh, descending phase is more vertical uh, compared with uh, uh, Chang'e 3. As for the relay uh, communication designs, uh, the TT and C between the relay satellite and the Earth, uh, we use the S-band uh, channels for communications and also for the
telemetry, uh, telecommand, and also the data transmissions. Uh, for the, re uh, for the uh, links uh, between the uh, data relay satellite and the ground uh, rover and lander, we're using the X band. Uh, also, we uh, design a parabolic uh, umbrella antennas uh, with a diameter of about uh, uh, 4.2 meters uh, for the relay communications. The, the data transmission uh, rate uh, from a relay satellite to Earth uh, is ranging from uh, 1 uh, mega BPS and to 10 uh, mega BPS at the most. And for the uh, orbit design of the relay satellite, uh, relay satellite trajectory is designed as a uh, orbit around the moon or the Earth's moon Lagrange point two. Uh, finally, we chose the mission orbit uh, on the <coughs> hollow orbit. Uh, this orbit is uh, accessible to the far side of the moon uh, continuously, and also this orbit is uh, accessible to ground stations for all the time uh, in certain orbit. And also it is uh, uh, interrupted for only a few times as in the shadow of the Earth or the moon. Otherwise, the satellite is in the sunlight. And also it is uh, with less influence uh, from Earth and lunar gravities. This is a flight trajectory uh, from the launching uh, to <coughs> transfer orbit and to the break at uh, uh, Paralinos. Sorry. And also, uh, there are several other uh, trajectory uh, control maneuvers until we in into the uh, hello orbit, uh, the final mission orbit. Uh, there are several uh, science payload uh, on board the uh, Chandler of for uh, spacecraft. Uh, the total payloads is about uh, 10 uh, kind of payload uh, developed uh, by China and also international partners. Among these payloads, uh, seven of these payloads was developed uh, by China, uh, mostly developed by China Academy of Science. And still other three, uh, we uh, uh, cooperated with the international partners, for example, on the landers, uh, we have the lunar uh, neutrals and the uh, dosimetry detectors uh, from Germany. And on the rovers, we have a payload from Sweden. It's called Advanced uh, Small uh, Analyzer uh, for Neutrals. And also on the relay satellite, uh, we have a payload from Netherlands uh, called the Netherlands China uh, Low Frequency Explorers. Other uh, payload are developed uh, by China. For the Mount night temperature measurement, uh, since uh, we have to survive uh, during the night and also to make some measurements, uh, so the RTG uh, device has uh, utilized uh, for the first time in Chinese uh, uh, deep space missions. And uh, in the Mount night, the RTG uh, supply power for temperature sensors and the sensor collect and save the data to memories and practically. The relay satellite uh, was uh, launched last year uh, in the May, and uh, it uh, entered to the Hello mission orbit uh, in the June uh, last year. So it is about uh, one uh, month uh, to finish the insertion into the operation orbit. And for the lander and the rovers, uh, this combination was uh, launched together uh, in last December. And uh, it's uh, touched the lunar surface in the far side uh, in this uh, uh, January, on the third of these January. This picture is actually a video, uh, it's uh, moving very slowly. It's a real time uh, video uh, taking uh, during the power uh, descending phase uh, taken by the uh, onboard cameras of the landers. So during the descending uh, descent phase, 
the descending camera uh, take photos of approaching the lunar surface uh, during the powered descending phase. And these photos uh, have been transferred back to Earth uh, by the uh, mid-gain antenna uh, simultaneously. So there's still some time for display. So during the power descent, I'm using the uh, so-called strategies. Uh, the oh, I forgot what is strategy. Uh, <coughs> the strategy is called uh, automatic uh, ob obstacle av av avoidance uh, strategies using to, uh, to select the right place um, to land. It's almost uh, finished. It makes the last uh, judgment uh, to choose the last uh, landing site. Uh, using the cameras and you also using the uh, laser reader. Yeah, this touched on. <laughs> so, so yeah. so during the power descent, I'll be using the optical uh, image sensors to take photos of the landing. Uh, site at an altitude of uh, uh, two kilometers. And also we use a three-dimensional uh, imaging uh, laser reader to measure the lander site. Uh, this is uh, measured by the uh, laser readers, and this is measured by the optical cameras. <coughs> so the lander selected the uh, safety position uh, with uh, uh, built-in software and moved toward, uh, toward it automatically. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the positions uh, of the Chandra 4 missions. Uh, this is a uh, oh, sorry. This is just uh, the from common uh, craters. Uh, you can see the shape of these craters. It's very huge, very big. And this is a uh, enlarged uh, image uh, taken by the American uh, lunar uh, reconnaissance orbiters. Uh, this, uh, the 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 position is here. Uh, actually, we also compare the image uh, taken by uh, LRO and also uh, our image uh, during the power uh, descent. So the position uh, is the same, uh, uh, the, the same result. After uh, landing, the solar panel deployed and the fixed uh, direction antenna uh, point to the relay satellite, and this image presented the lunar facade close appearance uh, for the first time. And uh, uh, these three images are giving the uh, separation phase of the uh, rovers uh, leaving from the lander. This is some uh, image uh, taken uh, for the uh, separation phase and also for the uh, creasing phase. Uh, Isabella, can you open the video? The thing is, is uh, this is a video. Yes. This is a real-time uh, video uh, taken from the camera uh, on board the landers about uh, the cruising of the U-2, uh, the jet uh, rabbit uh, the rovers. Uh, this image was taken uh, from the cameras on the landers, and also this image taken uh, by the cameras uh, on the rovers. Uh, this is a panorama, uh, panometric image uh, taken by the uh, camera on the lander. Uh, for the rovers, uh, in the first uh, among days, uh, the rovers has uh, reached about uh, uh, 44 meters uh, 
from the from the lander side and move on these trajectories. And the second one, the second Monday, uh, is uh, go ahead for about uh, uh, 76 meters. Uh, as far as I know uh, from my colleagues, uh, today uh, the longest distance of the rover uh, leaving from the launching site is about uh, 160 meters. For the science explorations uh, on the landers, the LFS payload uh, deployed uh, three antennas with each deployed lens about five meters and uh, measures the low frequency radio waves on the lunar's uh, far side. Uh, this is uh, also the first time uh, to doing this kind of uh, research on the uh, far side. And also LND uh, measures the neutron uh, cosmic rays of high energy protons. By analyzing the moon night temperature sensor after the land uh, wake up for the first time, the lowest uh, lunar surface temperature in the moon night was about uh, uh, minus 190 degrees. Uh, this is the real measured uh, temperatures, uh, in situ temperatures. For the rovers, uh, infrared image spect uh, spectrometers, uh, lunar radar and ASIN was turned on and carried out uh, the operation activities. Uh, those are some uh, preliminary results uh, taken by the uh, payloads. Uh, since uh, the scientists are uh, now busy on the analyzing the data, uh, there's still no uh, public uh, for the science uh, result. I think uh, in the conference in Washington, D.C., I think there will be uh, some uh, discoveries and science fundings uh, which will be public uh, in that conference. Uh, these are some uh, pictures uh, uh, during the mission and during the development of these missions. This is uh, some, uh, I think, some foreigner expert uh, doing the, their uh, the payload uh, investigations in China. This is a uh, taking. Uh, this photo was taken by another uh, payload, which is on board the uh, Chinese uh, micro satellite, which is a piggyback uh, on board the China for missions. It's not uh, the major payload, but uh, it is uh, also have a very great influence uh, because this payload uh, was uh, developed and provided by uh, Saudi Arab Emirates. For the follow-on missions, uh, the next mission uh, which will be launched this year is the Chang'e 5. Uh, with Chang'e 5, the lunar uh, surface sampling, the lunar surface ascending, uh, lunar orbit uh, rendezvous, and also docking, and uh, the moon Earth transfer, the high speed uh, Earth uh, rain tree and sample returning uh, will be realized. The follow on mission after uh, Chang'e 5 uh, and research and development, uh, we have uh, listed the uh, name uh, such as uh, Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7, and Chang'e 8. And we will carry out the exploration of the polar regions, I think it's uh, uh, South Polar regions on the moon an early stage of building the lunar uh, scientific research uh, unmanned stations uh, in the future. So all the countries and agencies are welcome to cooperate with us uh, in the follow-on uh, lunar explorations. So in, in uh, conclusion, the Chang'e 4 uh, made great improvement on the key technologies and uh, <coughs> Uh, including the landing on complex landform of the moon, uh, really communication and uh, exploration around uh, Earth's moon uh, Lagrange point two, and operation during the moon light, uh, during the moon night. Our capability to precisely landing on specific spot uh, on the moon and carry out the lunar exploration uh, will lay a solid foundation uh, for the future uh, missions of the lunar and deep space uh, explorations. Okay, thank you all for your attention. Maybe we have one or two questions from the audience because we have the time for that. Oh yeah, yes. can we have a microphone please?
Well, uh, Xi Xie, uh, thank you. this is a very nice presentation. Uh, I am a scientific journalist and anthropologist. Would like to know how much it will cost this mission. And uh, since how long are you working on? I am not know much details because uh, I only uh, involved the first uh, uh, phase of the study, the, the, the phase A. But uh, according to my knowledge, I know some numbers for the data relay satellite, the small satellite. The uh, small satellite is ranging about, uh, I think, I, I think it's around about, uh, uh, how to say, about 40 million US dollars for the data release satellite. Thank you so much. I didn't much. have the figures for the lander and the rovers. Yes, and But you about, can make some comparisons. Thank you, and about the human team, the work, how many persons since so long are you working on Chang E? Uh, you, you mentioned the manned mission? Yes, the human work, how many person? how many engineer, how many scientists, to have an idea of the team, of the invisible team? Uh, the institutions is a lot. It's, uh, the institutions, uh, including the uh, members from China Academy of Science, uh, universities, and also from industries. Uh, for cost, I think uh, the people involved in the uh, Chang'e 4 missions is about, uh, I think it's about, uh, um, 100 maybe, and, and half of them are ladies. Become the Chang'e. Xie <laughs> Because the Chang'e is a, is a very beautiful lady. It's named after a beautiful lady. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes, so, sir. Yeah, we had the pleasure to work with the Chinese scientists at the time when we had an orbiter, smart one, around the moon, and then in the meantime, uh, in uh, 15 years, we have managed to launch uh, more than five uh, times and uh, built in complexity and also in uh, logistic, in operation. Now, uh, my question is also how uh, uh, is organized the scientific community to make use of these beautiful technical uh, results? So, um, I've seen that uh, in China you have a strong space research community, but uh, how do you bridge to get also some of the earth science community uh, to, uh, to uh, analyze this data, and what is your plan to also do the joint scientific exploitation with uh, the world scientific community, also as a way to prepare for the next steps together for the next mission? Well, so okay. how do you involve scientists from other, other parts of the world, yeah. and uh, how can we be involved also in instruments for the next uh, mission? Okay, thank you for, Mr. Foy, for your questions. Uh, in China, we have a mechanism to uh, to collect and select uh, the, the science missions. Uh, there is a commission called the uh, China National Space uh, Science uh, Commissions. I, I was a member of these commissions, but many of the, these members are coming from uh, uh, universities and uh, from uh, uh, China Academy of Science, uh, but also have some few members from the industries. Uh, these commissions uh, is responsible for rice uh, suggestions and to select uh, the, uh, the goals and the objective for the science uh, for deep space missions. And also in recent years, uh, Chinese government, uh, uh, they are uh, looking for collaborations uh, with uh, uh, foreign countries, uh, especially uh, the uh, deep space, uh, uh, the space flying countries uh, in deep space missions. Uh, now we are, uh, invite the space scientists uh, from, uh, uh, like from Europe, and, and also uh, we want to invite scientists from Japan and to give in lectures, uh, to give in report uh, on the uh, space science uh, related to deep space missions. Uh, for example, last week, I personally uh, invite a scientist uh, from uh, French, uh, Mr. Michel Blanc, uh, maybe some of our colleagues know him, uh, he gave us uh, lectures on the uh, science uh, objective selections uh, for the, drawing, uh, for the uh, Jupiter system missions. Uh, this is just one example. So in the future missions, uh, we are uh, very eagerly you know, to have uh, suggestions uh, from uh, uh, international uh, space science communities uh, to make our uh, 
uh, uh, make our uh, engineering uh, program uh, have a more unique contributions uh, in the science. So uh, we want to go not only by ourselves, but we want to go uh, with our partners uh, together. Thank you. Thank you very much, and also on behalf of the IAF, once again, a great congratulations to this outstanding success of this mission.